Once feared in Kabul for suicide attacks, the Taliban are now policing the streets of the capital. Thank God, since we took Kabul, there are not many security problems. There are small issues with theft, but we have solutions. We have night patrols and nighttime checkpoints to catch thieves. But there's no danger now. Security is good. Until recently, many of these men were fighting in Afghanistan's provinces and barely know Kabul. I haven't been in Kabul for 20 years, ever since the infidels arrived. Kabul never used to be like this. It's been built up. It's completely changed. The city has long been notorious for kidnappings and theft. The Taliban plan to fight that with their strict interpretation of Sharia law. God willing, the justice system of our emirate will soon start taking action. It will be like before. Thieves will have their hands cut off, killers will be executed, and adulterers will be stoned to death. These punishments should be public. That's very good. That way people see it and understand. They are dissuasive. That's how it's set out in Sharia law. In front of the Taliban and our camera, no one is willing to criticize the new regime. In fact, conservative elders tell us they're in favor of stricter Islamic rule. Cutting off hands is written in the Book of Allah. We're Muslims, so we have to accept that. Now I'm happy. Thanks to God, the rule of the Quran has returned to my country. When the Taliban first swept to power, they emptied all the jails, freeing thousands of prisoners. But now they're filling up the cells once again. This man is accused of armed robbery at knife point which he denies. When they arrested me, they searched me and found nothing. Now they're saying I had a knife, but I don't know what they're talking about. If he's proven guilty, the court will sentence him to have his hand or his foot amputated. If he's innocent, he'll be set free. Kabul's police stations are now manned by hordes of Taliban fighters. Every day they haul in people accused of crimes. For now, Sharia courts in Kabul aren't yet fully operational. You can go in. But financial disputes and quarrels between neighbors are already being settled inside this police station by Islamic judges. I sold the car 15 years ago, but the buyer had acquaintances in high places, so he never paid me. Before, under the former government, they wouldn't even let me in the police station. The plaintiffs here, all men, say they're satisfied with the speedy justice now being dealt out. The Taliban boast they can bring back order after decades of violence. But here, on the eastern edge of Kabul, they're much more worried about eradicating the local branch of Islamic State. The Islamic State group is trying to increase their presence in Afghanistan and to destroy the country, but we are not afraid. The Taliban's been fighting for 20 years, and now we will continue to do so against them. IS have claimed responsibility for a string of deadly attacks. Keeping a grip on security is just one of the huge challenges for former insurgents who've suddenly found themselves in charge of a state.